Shalom, given all praise to Yahweh, Shalom, 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 Anyway, uh, I'm going to entitle this video, My Enemies Speak Evil of Me, When Shall He Die and His Name Perish? My Enemies Speak Evil of Me, When Shall He or She Die and His or Her Name Perish? perish so I'm just going into this video right here this woman uh, named Nefertiti there's a play on Nefertiti and it was, you can obviously 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 see that she looks like a you know an Israelite woman a bl black woman that was uh, down of that was part of uh, Vocab Malone's Motley Crew. I've never seen any other videos, <clears throat> but you have some of our women that are down with this demon of Vocab Malone, and she had come against, you know, the whole Israelite doctrine, and the Most High took her out. Most High plagued her with a brain uh, cancer which if she knew about the herbs and truly prayed to the Most High, Most High could have forgave her. There's a particular king. I may even go into him. As a matter of fact, you know what I'm going to do? Let me see if I can find it. I didn't set it up. As a matter of fact, I didn't set up any precepts, so I'm just going with the spirit. I put in the key word, die. <coughs> just reading through the scriptures. Let me see. Let me try this. In the feet. It should come up. Let's see. Okay. Comes up a bunch of times. If I'm not mistaken... It's either in the Book of Kings or the uh, one of the Chronicles. Let me try it this way. Okay, I got it. The water to the most high. So I'm going to read both of these precepts. It says here, and see, the Most High will take you out if you don't acknowledge him. Now, the Most High could take you out if you do acknowledge him because people die. We're still under the curse of death until we are changed. Uh, 1 Corinthians 15, you can start the 50th verse or somewhere in the 50 some odd verse. We shall be changed in a moment in the twinkling of, a, of an eye at the last trump. So let me give you this example. You had kings and other Israelites that pray to be healed. And then Moses had healed them. So this king, Asa, I'll read it. Uh, 1 Kings 15, verse 23. The rest of all the acts of Asa and his might and all that he did and the cities which he built are they not written in the book of Chronicles and here you got it the book of Chronicles of the kings of Yahweh so he was of the tribe of Yahweh 
Nevertheless, in the time of his old age, he was deceased in his feet. Now I'm going to go and read this in Second Chronicles. Then I'm going to come back and open this up so I can keep it in context. It says, And Asa in, in the thirty and ninth year of his reign was dressed disease, I'm sorry, in his feet until his disease was exceeding great. Yet in his disease he sought not Yahweh, but to the physicians. So he went to the physicians, which are the most I set him up to heal. But you gotta you gotta pray to the Father. He trusted in man. He trusted that a physician would, would heal him with herbs. Let me open this up. And Asa slept with his father, fathers and died in the one and fortieth year of his reign. And they buried him in his own sepulchre, which we had made for him in the city of David, which is Bethlehem, and laid him in the bed which was filled with sweet odors and diverse kinds of spices prepared by the apothecary art and they made a very great burning for him. So let me read this again from the 12th verse. And Asa, king of Judah at that time, in the 39th year of his reign was diseased in his feet. So he was diseased for two years because it said he died in the 41st year until his disease was exceeding great Yet in his disease he sought not Yahweh, but to the physician. So he, the scriptures say, Cursed be the man that trusteth in man. So he was carnal. He wasn't trusting in the Lord. And um, he dealt, He had to deal with this disease for two years until it, until it took him out. So he didn't praise the Lord. He didn't honor the Lord, the Yahweh. He didn't ask Yahweh to, to heal him. Any, th any sickness that I got, man, I got a cold. I'm praying to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai to heal me. And then I'll take whatever herbs um, to restore myself. Remember the Most High is a jealous power, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the third and fourth generation of them that, that um, hate me. That's um, Exodus 20 verse, you can start the fifth verses, fifth, uh, fourth and fifth verse. And that's reincarnation right there. So here you got this woman that took this truth that we taught as a joke. So this is one of the videos, does the Apocrypha belong in the Bible? I'm pretty sure she's going to say no because she was following some damn devil. So she was an enemy, enemy of ours. So it's good that she's dead. And the scriptures speak about your enemies. Like I said, I didn't put anything together. So I'm just going by it, how the spirit leads me. What is that? Isaiah. And you're supposed to condemn your enemies, even if they're Israelites. Isaiah 54, verse 17, No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of Yahweh, and their righteousness is of me, saith Yahweh. It says the servants of Yahweh, right? The servants of Yahweh are the elect 
of Israel. When you read uh, Revelation uh, the seventh chapter, it speaks about the 144,000 being the elect or the servants of Yahweh. Still the servants. It's not talking about all Israel. It says, anybody that comes up against us in judgments, we shall what? Condemn. Thou shalt condemn. Let's look up the word condemn. And the, and the word there in the Hebrew is Rashai. To be guilty, be condemned. To condemn as guilty. To condemn as guilty. To act wickedly. So if you can, if you put a curse for somebody to die, that's kind of acting wicked. But you can be wicked. <laughs> you can, you can, you can say, "I hope that motherfucker dropped dead." Now to say it to a righteous person is bringing d condemnation upon you. But you can say it, say it to a wicked person, and she was a wicked person. She she was not a believer, and the Most High uh, killed her. Mosai took her out. I'm trying to think. Is this, I'm trying to think of a precept that that was in my head. If I get the wording right, I can get the scripture. Oh, it's here. It's here. I'm sorry. It's 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 right here. That's why it was in my head. So I made it easy for me. I just typed in the word die. And I hadn't even gone to the, the Apocrypha. And um, let me see. I'll do this. So the word die is in uh, the scriptures. Almost 300. 300 times minus one. But I didn't even go to the Apocrypha as of yet. Oh, oh yes, yeah, right here. Oh wow, let's think about it. Um, our Lord Yahweh Shai in John chapter 8, which we talking about that over the weekend, about doing um, a, you know, doing a video of John, St. John chapter 8. You know, that break that whole chapter down because it's a lot of heavy information. It was a major curse out. It was a big curse out between our Lord and the wicked scribes and Pharisees and he can, he called them a bunch of devils. Then he told them because before he called them a bunch of devils, he, he told them that, that you're going to die in your sins. So I'm going to read the 24th verse and I may go to context. I said therefore unto you that ye shall die in your sins for if ye believe not that I am he ye shall die in your sins. You know what I'm going to do? Let me click on context. That's in the 20, starts at the 22nd verse but the whole chapter the whole chapter was just a curse out session. Then said the Jews, will he kill himself because 
he saith, Whither I go, ye cannot come. And he said unto them, Ye are from beneath, I am from above. Ye are of this world. Uh, this Nef Nefertiti was of this world. She was following the devil. Ye, so the Most High took her out. So now she's in the spiritual realm. And the first thing she experiences experience is she went before the throne. But now she knows she's an Israelite. Now she knows America's Babylon the Great. Now she knows that Vocab Malone is the devil. Now she knows that so-called white people are Edomites. And she's humbled now. And she has to wait for a new body to come. Now in that same scripture in Second, uh, second uh, Chronicles 5, it says you go before the judgment seat and your body's pretty much prepared for your next life. So you got to, you got to, you got to, uh, the sins that you committed, you got to pay for when you come back in your next body. But guess what? When she comes back, she's going to come back in the kingdom. So she's not going to be cursed anymore. And she'll be one of the, one of the ones that's going to be walking around with their heads down for, sh for a time. Because they're going to, they're going to feel bad for themselves. And she's she going to take it out on you, Vocab. And when and when vocab kicks the bucket, we're gonna have we're gonna we're gonna have a, a certain day. Every day we're gonna celebrate your downfall. If if you don't if you you know don't make it to the missiles, we would we would like you to make it all the way to the missiles. We would like you to get that karagma and then you know be uh, eat a couple of missiles. It says, um, and he said unto them, Ye are from beneath. I am from above. So she was from beneath, and we are from above. Yet ye are of this world. She was of this world. I am not of this world. We are not of this world. Oh, the scripture says, if this, the, this is a, a Lord speaking, if, if this was my, my world or my kingdom, my servants would fight. So now we're not here to fight. We're, the, the fight that we fight is a spiritual fight through the scriptures. Uh, second uh, Corinthians 10 verse 4 I said therefore unto you that ye shall die in your sins so she died in her sins for if ye believe not that I am he and she didn't believe in the Lord she believed in the white Jesus she believed in Caesar Boger the renaissance art Jesus ye shall die in your sins so she died in her sins but she's good now because she's not going to come back crippled or blind. She'll come back right because the, the curse is going to be over. This, any, any Jake that dies now, when they come back, they're coming back good. It says, uh, Then said they unto him, Who art thou? And Yahweh shall I saith unto them, Even the same that I said unto you from the beginning. Now let's come on back. Ezekiel 33 verse 8. When I say unto the wicked, O wicked man, or woman, thou shalt surely die. So she heard, uh, she heard what we were saying because she was bucking up against, uh, you know, the Israelites. If thou doeth not speak to warn the wicked from his, from his way or her way, that wicked shall die in his or her iniquity. So she died in her iniquity. But, but his or her blood shall I require at thy hand. So now if we warn them, we did the video, so she, she's aware um, of what we teach, and she, and she, you know, fought against it. This is Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 18. When I say unto the wicked, she was the wicked, she was one of the wicked, thou shalt surely die, and, and thou giveth him not warning, 
nor speaketh to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life or her life, the same wicked man or woman shall die in his or her iniquity. So she died a slow death, you know, with her uh, brain cancer. That's a hell of a way to die, man. And she embraced it too. That's pride. But but his but his blood or her blood will I require at thy hand if, if we don't tell the people. So what is the vehicle of telling the people when we go on YouTube? We can't. There's no way we can hit every Jake out there. It's, it's humanly impossible. That's in um, Matthew chapter 10. I believe it's around about the 25th verse. We will not go over all the cities until the Lord come. Meaning, if you're going to go to each and every Jake in America, and for that case, around the world, because there's elect around the world, the Lord would bend and come before you hit everybody. So the vehicle that the Most High blessed us with is the, um, is the Internet, mainly YouTube. So, you know, if you have a, 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 a laptop or a smartphone or a uh, desktop computer, you know, you have and you watch YouTube and other other platforms. You everybody then came across these videos, these uh, YouTube videos uh, dealing with the Israelites, whether it be GMS, ISUPK, IUIC, Sakari, or any of them. And all the all these uh, celebrities, they know us. All them, all the celebrities. I don't care if it's Denzel. I don't care if it's uh, Dave Chappelle. He he's in some hot water again for for going at the small hats. I don't give a damn. I don't care if it's uh, LeBron James, Michael Jordan. I don't care who it is. Um, so they all know about us. So now, if they believe and they, you know, deal with us to learn more or to even help on even a financial level, then the most I would will save them. Now it says in uh, Galatians, matter of fact, let me say this. I mean, let me go to this. Galatians. Galatians 2. Go right to the point. You know what? Let me start at the top. Then 14 years after I went up again to Jerusalem with Barnabas um, and took Titus with me also. And I went... <coughs> up by revelation and communicated with them uh, that gospel which I preach among the Gentiles. The Gentiles are Israelites. Cornelius is like a what's, what's the term? He would be uh, the first Gentile Israelite to, to come into this bowl. Um so those Gentiles are Israelites, but but pri but privately to them which were of reputation, lest any, lest by any means I should run or had run in vain. But privately to them of reputation. Let's look up this word reputation. get deeper into this word. Let's go into the Greek. Yeah, reputation means you have a reputation. So the word here is Strong's G1380, Dikeo, 
Dakeo. Dakeo. To be of opinion, think, suppose. To seem to be accounted, reputed, reputed. To seem to me, I think, judge thus in question, it seems good to please me, I determine. Let me get some of the precepts there. If you go to the uh, you know the uh, the Google and you Google and you put in reputation, it means uh you know people knowing you. So day of reputation would be, you know, you wouldn't, if the LeBron James came to camp, you're not going to say, oh, this is Le LeBron, Le LeBron James, he's going to hold post. No. They're going to be behind the scenes. Like if an actor or a comedian or an athlete, you know, they, they're part of this thing. You got to be behind the scenes because, number one, if you were out there, let's say Jay-Z became an Israelite. He wore the garment, he was in GMS. People f flock to come see Jay Z or whoever, LeBron, whoever. And then Esau is going to come against you. And he acted at, at well, this guy um, that, that played for the, the Brooklyn Nets. Damn, I can't even think of his name. But that whole thing with him um you know w with 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 him watching a movie so he made it known that he watched the movie you know from Hebrews and Negroes was the guy that put that movie together he's a lost soul he knows he's Israelite but he's he's he he he's not on our level so anyway um he saw the movie can't think of his name, damn. And I just saw a picture of him, and I ju just saw his name a minute ago. That's a damn shame. <coughs> but anyway, um, let's put it in the the chat. You know, he said he didn't really say nothing bad. He saw he said on uh, I saw this movie. <coughs> And it was a good movie. I learned a lot or whatever. He didn't say nothing negative against the small hats. But for him to say it, having a reputation, for him, for him saying that, having a reputation for being known, he's an influencer. He becomes an influencer. Millions of people are, 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 will follow him. So what did what did they do? They put him on a hot seat, man. And like I said, he didn't say nothing negative. He didn't say I hate them people. They're not the people. We're the people. He didn't say nothing negative. He just said he saw this movie called Hebrews and Negroes, and um. They you know they put they they put fire on his ass, man. And then they made him you know. They made him uh. Apologize for what? He didn't say nothing wrong. And that shows you that those are the people that run things, man. And they give us a bad name because if we're saying that we're the Israelites, then th is there, if there's another group saying that they're Israelites, who are the real Israelites now? That's a question. But anyway... Let's come back over here. So she was one.
Job 36, verse 14. They die in youth. She was young, and their life is among the unclean. When she was living, her life was among the unclean. And she thought this was a joke. Because when she was was uh, diagnosed with terminal cancer, she, I'm comfortable with however she said it, you know? So this was just put up. Let me... Uh, This is another, well, this is old. Florida rapper, Fady Shot. At, and be in, in the hip-hop community, the rap, the rap game, so so to speak, that's, that's part of the curse of Deuteronomy 28. If you become a rapper, you know, you spit fire, as they say, uh, whatever the terminology you young boys use, um... You you understand that you could die. You, you know that, right? You know you can die. You got a lot of comments, but really no precepts. Oh, there is a good one. Uh, First Chronicles sixteen verse twenty two saying, "Touch not mine anointed, and do and do my prophets no harm." Psalms 105.15 saying, touch not mine anointed and do my prophets no harm. So she did harm in coming against the Israelites. Oh, polite got his judgment. His brother speaking about polite, right? I have a bad feeling about polite. They, uh, the way he stole from people. Well, he came against us. He he said he's gonna get the bloods and the crips, not just the blood, not just the crips, but the bloods and the crips. And what now? He's now he's um, Fleece Johnson, <laughs> Fleece Johnson. It's, it's got him in a bear hug. Oh, this is Proverbs 20, verse 17. Bread of deceit is sweet to a man, or in this case a woman, but afterwards his mouth or her mouth shall be filled with gravel. What, what does that mean? That's dust. She eating dust now. Many shall rise up from the dust, some to shame, some to life, and some to shame and everlasting contempt. Mosai getting ready to get that that black bulb head, Deacon uh, Jessup, because now they're saying that he sold out. He completely sold out. He went, he, and a lot of people are leaving him, are, uh, are leaving him. Oh, they gotta get Sister Cherry. She she's a devil. As Bobby Boucher's mother would say, what about what do you think about Sister Cherry? Sister Cherry is the devil. And the most I gonna get her good. Hopefully this is an example to Miss Cherry. It ain't gonna be it. She's a she's a hard headed black woman who deals with vocab, laugh out loud. She could be next. She likes playing with the most high and the and and the son real name the christians are full of folly shake my head shall, uh, shalom so oh this guy this guy uh Jesus the word. Well, he's instrumental. Now, now um this guy Jesus the word deals with uh, works with a uh, vocab Malone. And um vocab Malone was saying that 
they were having discussions with uh, Bishop Jessup, and he mentioned um, Jesus the Word. So they were working to get this guy to come on the other side, <laughs> come to the dark side. And if you notice, this guy, Jesus, came out to the camp talking about, well, what about baptism? You, you know, you got to baptize. Well, that's a straw man argument. Because I would just say, well, wait a minute. Okay, let's go with the baptism. Who, who does the baptism apply to? Who do you baptize? You baptize Israelites. Then the Apostle Paul said, I, I baptize this individual and that individual. Whether I baptize others, I do not remember. And then he said in 1 Corinthians uh, 1, he said, um, the Lord didn't send me here to baptize, but to preach. And baptism came about with John the Baptist. The Old Testament prophets were not baptizing the people. They were anointing them with oil. So where does it say that you got to, you don't got to baptize people. Well, you could, if you got to clean water, you could do that. Let's say, you, let's say we go to Israel or we go to the River Jordan and you baptize, you can do that. It's symbolic. All right? It's, it, uh, the scriptures uh, be, it says uh, being washed by the word. I believe that's in, uh, let me see if I can find it real quick. Baptism means to be washed. Let's see if it comes up. If not, I can I'll find it some other way. I'm almost positive it's in the one of the Ephesians. Okay. Let's go to the NLT. Yep, Ephesians 5. To make her holy and clean, washed by the cleansing of the Most High's word. So it's written a little bit different. And like I said, this, the, the scriptures, are, it's not the comforter. The comforter is the spirit that comes with the scriptures. So we're going to read this in the King James. So Nefertiti, whatever her name is, she wasn't cleansed. She was filthy. Job said she was among the unclean. Ephesians 5 verse 26, that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word. So that's, so when you learn this truth, that's the baptism. Right, that he may present it to himself a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but that it should be holy and without blemish. So we're seeking for perfection. Where the hell, what the hell happened? Let me bring this back up. So my question is, who's next? Does the apocrypha, the, does the apocrypha belong in the Bible? Well, you know now. You know now. You know you're an Israelite, and you know vocab is the devil that the Bible speaks of. Anyway, with that, I'm going to say Shalom.